So the first automatic course registration starts on February 3rd at 9 and a half. At the day of first automatic course registration day, log into the course registration portal with your portal ID and make sure to change the system into English. And then click the course basket over here. And at the time of 9, which is 30 minutes before to actual automatic registration, you may see something like this. And at nine and a half, click the reset button over here and change college into Seoul campus and change class name into class number. Write down the four digit number of courses you're planning to take. So you need to choose whether you're gonna use it as a course basket, which is automatic registration or backup list, which is backup registration. When you choose course basket, automatic this registration, you cannot have overlapping time schedule and courses will be automatically registered if the number of students registering does not exceed the quota. If it registered successfully, this tab, this state tab, which shows applying, will be changed to registered during the confirmation period. Confirmation period, which means when it shows the first result. If it's failed to register, it will show applying even after the first result. So you may try again during the second round of automatic course registration or during manual course registration. If the state shows up like applying, which means you need to retry it again on second course basket and also first course registration. Hence, course basket has credit limitation. You can put more than 17 credits. Then what happens when you choose backup registration? When you choose backup list, which means backup registration, it has no limitation. But they will not be automatically registered. So from backup registration, you may have courses with overwrapping time schedules, but you cannot have the same courses as the ones in course basket. If you put the same courses on backup list, you may see something like this has been registered because as you can see over here, it is already registered through automatic registration. So you cannot register again. This list of course basket will be pops up on course registration side at the day of first and second manual course registration. You will see something like this. So you can just click over here or write down four digit numbers over here. Regarding manual registration, I will illustrate more deeply on the next videos and it will be uploaded in the near future. So keep your eyes on our Instagram account either. Let's look over this. So you can read all of this by yourself. So what is automatic registration? It's for an easier and faster registration. Kongook uses a system called automatic registration. You can select courses you wish to take and it will be automatically registered under the circumstances, circumstances that the number of students who signed up does not exceed the enrollment quota. If the number of students who have signed up exceeds the enrollment quota, no one will be automatically registered and will have to try once more during second automatic registration period or register manually. So as I told you, go to course registration site and type in your ID and password, change your language setting, the wrap up for automatic registration guide. So you can only register up to 70 credits as I told you. And courses cannot have over wrapping time schedules. And also courses that exceed the quota will show Jung, which means applying. Color will be shows as orange here will show up as orange when it's applying instead of a uh, registered blue 신청 완료 which means registered it will shows up as blue so during the confirmation period this is the same meaning of the first result 
If the colors you have selected are orange, you will have to try again during the second period or during the manual course registration period. Courses that are that were not automatically registered will appear in the bottom half during the manual course registration period for easier access. So this means like it will pop up over here. So when you when the courses you put it in your basket does not change into registered. So when the state does not change into applying to register, this will automatically move to here. So you can easily do your manual course registration system. It also tells about the backup list courses you have you may wish to take but don't want to want it automatically registered due to the overlapping schedule and etc. can be selected as a backup list during the automatic course registration period. Courses selected as backup registration will not be registered automatically, but keeping your course basket as a backup plan for easy access. What you need to understand is the Abishin Chong backup registration. This will not be automatically registered. So you can put courses with overlapping time schedule. The maximum of backup list is 30 credit and cannot have the same courses as the ones in automatic registration as I mentioned. Courses in this basket will automatically appear during the course registration period for easier access. Everything regarding backup registration and automatic registration are on the guidebook so please read this thoroughly. And I want to tell you automatic course registration is not that hard so you don't need to be feel so fearful what you need to care about is manual registration so before then just chill yeah bye